Hi. Loneliness. It's something we are not willing to admit most of the time. But a lot of us feel lonely from time to time. Or feel unseen. Uh, misunderstood. Misjudged. Underappreciated. Or we believe we're the only one who's going through a certain thing. Being something happening now or having to deal with an experience that we had some time ago. Maybe even very long ago and that's still haunting us, affecting us. Something we may have told one or two people about or maybe even never ever told anybody because we're so ashamed of it or we believe that if you would talk about it the pain would kill us and you would have to go through all the suffering again well that's not true first uh, yes if you go to a standard psychologist who will follow the books and who will follow systems and methodology then there may be a chance you will relive and they will make you relive it so many times, hoping that you will get numb. But um, I believe that is total shit. Yes, it's total crap. It's the worst thing you can do. It's just torture and it's, it's inhumane. And that's why I do not like most psychologists. Because the word psychology actually means science of the soul. And what they're doing is just mind work. Not even work, it's mind torture. Soul torture. So, <clears throat> the way I work is to go to the root of the problem and solving it there. And for that you do not need to re-feel and re-experience all the pain. It's bypassing most of it and resolving it. Yeah, the process can be painful sometimes. But often it's like, oh, was that all the pain? Wow, if I would have known this, I would have done it 10 years ago. I personally experienced this a few times. And that's when I learned like, okay, something is there, I will just address it. But I will go to the root because that's how I have the least pain and it will be resolved, it will be solved, it will, it will disappear. The pain will disappear. The memory will be there, but will not be painful anymore. I will know it happened, but will not affect me as much anymore. And I will be free of that huge load on my shoulders. And loneliness is related to this. It can be that we have been sexually abused, raped, that we have been physically attacked, non-sexually, but physically attacked, that we have been bullied, we have been judged, we have been attacked mentally, emotionally, by our parents, by kids at school, that's generally called bullying then, but when it's parents we don't call it bullying, it's just people who are in pain themselves, have no clue how to behave, but then they behave like total assholes, and yes, if this happened to you, yes, your parents believed like assholes. It happens. They're human beings. They can also do things wrong. It's not your fault. The only mistake you may have made is to keep swallowing and not standing up for yourself. And standing up for yourself doesn't mean that the first thing you have to do is to go and punch those people in the face. Standing up for yourself is to go inside and listen to what your soul has to say. And then you can decide to safely find other people who are in the same boat, who are having similar experiences. That's why they created this Facebook page with the name Hashtag Me Too. I believe it's a great place for a lot of people to, at least for the first time in their lives, express themselves. And 
there's a lot of drama in it as well and people who keep uh, reinforcing the thing that happened and they don't move on from it, they just stay in it like, oh, it's happened, oh, bad people, oh, th those people are bad, oh, they were bad, oh, yeah, they were bad, 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 okay. It's fine to say that for a moment, but after that you need to move, like, okay, what, I'm, what will I do for myself now? So I left that group, because, yeah, I also had my experience on my website, you will see in the tips and tools, you will see hashtag me too. And... Um, and I decided to work with people who want to actually resolve something. Because just staying angry at somebody who did it and actually maybe already died and you cannot do anything against the person or you don't know where the person is. Maybe you don't even know the name of the person. So how are you going to go and, be, and choke the person to death or no? It happens to you. There may be a very good reason to it, which you are... Unable to see at the moment, which is fine. I managed to see the reason for me by zooming out, seeing the bigger picture. And it took me 35 years to see it. But things are going faster now. Since 2012, everything is going faster and faster and faster. So don't worry. But my point is that it's time you come out of your cave and there's a safe space and that space I will be managing and one of the first places you can go to is my Patreon page you don't need to put your real name you can just put an alias you don't need to put a picture of your face you can put one of the standard pictures they have there, or you put a nice picture of a flower or whatever you feel. And yeah, put your questions or just observe. Just read and watch. And from there you can decide what you want. So if you're feeling here like, hmm, maybe I should, but oh, I'm so scared. Then maybe I should is the feeling and the scare, the scary feelings are actually not feelings that come from the mind. It's your mind like, oh, yeah, but what if? And you don't know what... Yeah, the mind doesn't know and you will not know what will happen. The only thing I can tell you is that something may change inside you which will help you release all that weight. For me, the experience was in 2012 that literally I felt a huge load dropping off my shoulders when I had my breakthrough and it was about the hashtag MeToo event and everything that came after that it was a consequence of the hashtag MeToo event it happened when I was 7 and at the age of almost 40 I had my breakthrough so for 33 years I've been experiencing a lot of things and that load just dropped off my shoulders. And I wish this to everyone. To get that load off the shoulders. So, have the courage and take that tiny, tiny step. And you can stay hidden. It's fine. But just take that step. Do something. Start getting out of the darkness. And nobody needs to see you. But you can start to look outside the darkness. And start to enjoy the light. Enjoy the sun on your skin. Enjoy the fresh air that you'll be able to breathe. And maybe you'll start to feel love again. True love. Unconditional and universal love. Have a beautiful day. Click the link if you like it. There will be a link below.